Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. My video today is going to be a recap of Fermentation Fest. So I posted some photos on Instagram. So if you've seen that, that's what this video is gonna be all about. So Fermentation Fest is a festival in Reedsburg, Wisconsin, which is a small town about an hour north of Madison. I believe that this was the seventh year that they have done Fermentation Fest. So this year it was held over two weekends which I believe is how they normally run it. Um, this year it was over the weekends of October 6th to the 8th and then also the 13th to the 15th. So I went up to Fermentation Fest um, on the 14th and the 15th. So I did some classes, ate some food, and I'm gonna share my little experience with you today. So generally Fermentation Fest in the past has been a festival with you know a lot of classes on fermentation, but then in the past they have also done this art tour. So apparently they have all these kind of like giant art displays just kind of set up in the countryside around Reedsburg, Wisconsin, which is supposed to be super, super cool. They did not do that this year. I believe now, like starting from now, they're gonna do it every other year. So I'm super excited for Fermentation Fest next year because they are gonna be doing this art detour. I believe they call it the art detour. Supposed to be super, super cool. So I'm really excited about that. Anyway, they did not have the art tour this year. So this year I was totally focused on classes. Now this is one thing I love about Fermentation Fest. This was my first time at Fermentation Fest, but I will definitely go back. I love that it was a festival that was so focused on education because I feel like so many times you go to a festival and it's all about selling stuff or eating, but this was like education. And I think that's great, especially when it is around the topic of fermentation because fermentation is huge right now. Um, but I do feel like it's a very intimidating kind of topic. I've seen a really, really good response from my kombucha videos and my June videos. And I can just tell that there is definitely like this desire to learn more about fermentation. So this was the Fermentation Festival booklet for this year. This had tons of articles in it. It talked about all the classes and everything. So I can't remember exactly when the classes were released, like when they said who was doing what. Uh, it was sometime this summer, I wanna say like July, and then tickets actually went on sale in August. So right away, I booked a couple tickets, um, specifically because I really wanted to see Hannah Crumb speak. So Hannah Crumb is the author of The Big Book of Kombucha. So it was really important that I get to take a kombucha class from like the mother of kombucha. So the first class I took was actually on Saturday. It was a two hour class. It was in the morning and it was just Saturday was just kind of a gross rainy day. So I basically zipped up for the class and then came home. Didn't do anything in Reedsburg that day, just went up for the class. So the first class I took was called Homemade for Sale. And I actually got this book. This book was included in the cost of the tuition and tuition for this one was $35 for a two hour class. So this was taught by Lisa Kiverest and John Ivanko. They are a husband wife duo. Um, they have like a bed and breakfast, I think in Monroe, Wisconsin. Um, and this was all about basically basically how to sell products that you have made at home, you know, like pickles and um, things that have pres been preserved with like high acidity and then also baked goods, like low moisture baked goods. This was particularly interesting to me because I've, you know, toyed around with the idea of doing this, but also Wisconsin had had this really big ban on making baked goods from home and selling them but a judge recently declared that unconstitutional. So at the moment, if you're in Wisconsin, you can bake like low moisture baked goods and sell them and there is no cap on your income with that. Um, so that's exciting. So one thing I really liked about this class is just the way they presented. They were super knowledgeable, um, but instead of using a PowerPoint, they actually hung up a clothesline and you know, maybe they were talking about like, um, like baking at home, okay, which obviously it was. So, you know, they started off with like a little, a little cutout of like a house and then they had a cutout of something else. And I just, I thought it was a really, really clever, cute way um, to present rather than just like putting up PowerPoint slides and blah, blah, blah. So learned a lot at that class and I'm very excited to read this book. All right, day two. So I registered for two classes and I knew that I had about two hours in between classes. So the plan was just do the first class, go get lunch, you know, putz around, do a little shopping, whatever, and then do the second class. Uh, day two was a beautiful day. It was sunny, but it was cold. It was it was pretty, pretty chilly. Um, so I did take a little bit of footage, like a little vlogging footage. So I will kind of insert stuff sort of wherever. Um, but the first class we did on day two was called Lacto-Fermentation Basics, which basically is like making kraut, kimchi, that sort of thing. 
Um, this was taught by a gal named Faith Anniker, and she has a company in Viroqua, Wisconsin called Physiology Food. So she makes like kraut and kimchi. So this was a hands-on class and it was $35. So my husband and I each made a jar of kraut. I'll show some pictures of like, you know, the actual process of making the kraut. Paul, what are you doing? Um, massaging cabbage, radish. No, Paul. En fait, qu'est-ce que tu fais? Je donne un massage. Je fais un massage. À la chou. À la masseur de chou. Oh là là. Hey, Paul. Hey, beauty. What are you holding there? Some choucroute. Choucroute. And in English, Paul, c'est quoi ça? Kraut. Kraut. Let me see it again now that we're in the sunshine. It's so pretty, isn't it? Get a close up. So, how did you like making the kraut, Paul? That's fun. Yeah. First time massaging some cabbage. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I, I think I got most of the nuts. Most of the what? Of the nuts. Most of their nuts. Oh, most of their nuts. Right. So after our first class, we wandered over to the city park where they had this whole kind of fermentation square set up. Um, you know, they had some food trucks there. They had different vendors selling fermented products. Uh, they had this giant wolf, kind of like this big art sculpture. Um, that was really cool. I've got a video of that I'll put in here. Um, so yeah, we just kind of wandered around for a couple hours, just chilled there for a bit. We had made some friends in our kraut class. You know, nothing brings people together like massaging cabbage. Um, we saw them there, so we stopped and sat around a campfire with them and chatted. Do you know? Thank you so much. And then we were actually about to leave the uh, the little city park thing. Um, we were literally about to leave and I saw this woman. I'm like, oh my God, it's Hannah Chrome. And I felt like it would be like if I saw, you know, like Jared Leto or somebody like somebody like super famous. But to me, Hannah Crumb is super famous because she is like the kombucha queen. And I was just like, oh my God, Hannah Crumb. <laughs> and like I've, you know, I've been in contact with her and like I have my videos about kombucha. So I think she had seen me before and she's like, oh, hi. And then she's like, wait, I don't know you. Why do I know you? Um, super, super nice lady. And we ended up talking in the park for like 20 minutes and it was great. And she was so nice. And just like, I, I felt like she could be my sister. I feel like we just share so many perspectives, like so many similar perspectives and opinions on just like health and how we are kind of living in a really like toxic society right now. I mean, just like regarding food and everything so processed and like the media and everything. Like we just have this very kind of negative environment that we live in and people are just sick because of it. So anyway, talked to Hannah Crum, super nice lady, took some photos, of course, have to put those in right now. So this year, Hannah Crum was actually one of their like keynote featured speakers. So that classroom, basically it was just, you know, a bunch of chairs. Like they needed to make a lot of space because they knew a lot of people would be interested in this class. Um, so she gave an hour and a half presentation. It was $25. She had a PowerPoint presentation and just kind of went, you know, a little bit beyond the basics of brewing kombucha. So at the end of Hannah's little chat, you know, she kind of got more into like her 
philosophy regarding like kombucha and everything. And kombucha is one of those things, it's just weird. And I feel like fermentation in general, like it just really brings people together. And she's she's like, you know, like our bodies, we're so starved for like good bacteria and connection and, and all this. And at the end, it was just, it was so cool. At the end, she actually had us all stand up and we stood in a circle and we held hands. And it was basically about just like, connecting and like sharing this bacteria and not living in this like super sterile environment. Um, so that was really cool. I just felt like I, I'm I, at the end, I'm like, seriously, like Hannah Crumb for president. You're just such an inspiration. So then at the end, of course, people were getting their uh, kombucha book signed. So of course I was waiting to get mine signed. I ended up chatting with my neighbor for a little bit and she was just so sweet. We, you know, we talked about a different flavors we do for kombucha and different tips we picked up here and there, shared our stories. So it was just, it was really cool. I felt like this festival was just a really good place to connect with like-minded people. And I mean, this is this is my thing. Like if I can go to a festival and be surrounded with kind of like food geeks and people who are super interested in this stuff, like I, I was completely in my element. So anyway, I was one of the last people to get my book signed. So I just wanna show you my cool autograph. I'll treasure this forever. So there it says, Dear Kendra, trust your gut, love Anna. Fermentation Fest 17. And then, of course, she also had some stickers, so I got all my stickers. Kombucha Camp, Trust Your Gut, I Love Kombucha, Good, Got Booch, and Bacteria Powered. So anyway, I really love Fermentation Fest. I thought it was really well organized, really, really well done. Um, I took three classes this year. I plan to definitely take at least three next year. They had such a wide variety of classes. They had foraging classes, they had beer classes, you know, I think they had cheese making, kimchi making, miso making, like all these different cool things. Um, it was really hard for me to just choose three. Also, I really appreciated that it was in a smaller town um, and not in like Madison or Milwaukee because people were so friendly. Like it was just this super chill, laid back vibe. You could have a conversation with anybody. Nobody was rushed. It was just, it was just such a pleasant environment to be in. And frankly, I got to meet my kombucha idol, Hannah Crumb. So that was super, super, super cool. So I would totally recommend checking out Fermentation Fest in Reedsburg, Wisconsin next October. You will definitely find me there. And I do believe this is the second largest fermentation festival in the country. I think the biggest one is in Portland, Oregon. And also once I have opened my crowd and I feel confident with my crowd making abilities, I will do a crowd video. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.